know, to be a, a Division II athlete, you got to be able to do a lot of different things. And one of them is to give back to the community. And that's what we teach them here at Fairmont. We want them to give back. This one's going to be a fun one for me. Let me tell you why I love this program so much. What they did is they had a national game on TV. Okay, that's the motivation. That's not the end of the deal. We went to the athletes and said, listen, we need to get the community involved. We need you to go out and knock on doors. And they were like, sure. What, what do you want us to do? So we just divided them up, got them in their jerseys, and they went knocking, and the business put a sign up. We support Fairmont State. What they did is said, we recognize this as a moment to bring together the whole community. And they talked to them, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? You know, I'm from Cleveland, I'm from Florida, or I'm from Fairmont. Nice to meet you, Eric. Right? Okay, Patrick, good luck. And that guy took notice, you know what? I think I will go up and watch those guys play. And they reached out, they got the Chamber of Commerce involved, they got other community organizations to work with them. Some of the athletes came back and said, you know, that guy at the barbershop, man, he, he knew someone I knew. He's coming to the game to watch us this time. And you'd see that guy show up. Hey, where's number 57 at, man? I talked to him. I want to talk to him. I want to see him play. It wasn't just the athletes. It was the student government. It was all phases of campus. It was an idea that Adam Zundel had, our sports information director. Hey, let's let the SAC get involved. Let's bring a children's book, you get in free, or a can of goods, and we'll fill these bins up. Then the sack can go around to these schools and to the food pantries and pass it back so we can give back to the community. What they did was an all-encompassing approach that's going to pay dividends for a long time because as it turned out, when it came time for game day, it was a very rainy, nasty day and you'd think it'd be terrible. And they still got great attendance and a connection with the community because these people who came and saw the game, they're looking for the guy who knocked on their door. So that's what have been our theme for the last three or four years, is get the people back on campus one way or another. Let them see what the product we have, and they'll be excited, same as we're excited, too. The other part of it, too, is that we embrace the community in this challenge to help us achieve this. Hey, we want to win this national award. You can help us. And so I think the community wanted to be a part of a winner, just like you know going to see the football team winning. They wanted to help us be a part of that. We want another one, you know. <laughs> it's exciting for us. Our town is a, is a sports-minded town and sports-minded community, and they want to win. Without any further ado, it's my pleasure to present you with the award for community excellence and community engagement. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Be safe.